Let's just have a look at the latest results in so far. As, as, as of a few minutes ago, the BJP and its coalition partners are leading by a long way. 347 seats, a clear majority. The Indian National Congress and its allies trail behind on 87 seats. The rest of the parties, there are scores of regional and local parties across this vast nation. They add up to 108 seats. Now, those partial results give Narendra Modi that huge lead. They've prompted him uh, to tweet that uh, together we grow, together we prosper, together we will build a strong and inclusive India. India wins yet again. Now, the full results won't be confirmed for several hours. We will, of course, bring you all of those as they come in. But with the story of how the Prime Minister Modi's victory in the world's biggest exercise in democracy took place and unfolded, here's Sangeeta Maiska. Loved and loathed with equal passion, the incumbent Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, has dominated this election. Leader of the Hindu nationalist BJP, this anti-establishment son of a tea seller attracts a cult-like status. Mr. Modi's supporters say it's his intention to enrich the nation, not himself. Unlike many of the politicians of the past, he can, they believe, deliver development, fulfilling India's fate as a regional superpower. Today, India is the fastest growing major economy in the world. The world wants to come here and invest. When weeks before the election, Pakistan-based Islamist terrorists killed 40 Indian soldiers, the country was shaken. Mr. Modi ordered retaliatory missile strikes against India's nuclear neighbour. The tactical value was debatable. Its election campaign worth immeasurable. National security became the BJP narrative dominating their campaign. Only India's so-called security guard could keep the country safe. But in a nation where the majority of the population is under 35, critics say debate over rising unemployment, now at a 45-year high, is being drowned out by nationalist rhetoric. Sales of cars and two-wheelers, a key measure of an economy's health, are sliding for the first time in years. And promises that India's farmers would receive a guaranteed income have never materialized. Yet despite the loudspeakers and roadshows, India's only national party of opposition, Congress, has struggled to be heard. Rahul Gandhi, whose family has yielded three generations of prime ministers, oversaw the party's devastating defeat five years ago. India's oldest party, say its critics, became complacent, assuming victories rather than earning them. This election is much more than just about who governs India over the next five years. Enshrined in this country's constitution is the idea that India is built on socialist principles and a secular society. Mr. Modi's critics claim that he is inching India towards a country that is built on Hindu principles and where one citizen is more equal than another based on caste and religion. This, they say, is a fight for India's soul. Sangeetha Maiska, BBC News, Delhi.